What? What are you laughing? So, okay, I found it. So what? Dr. Seuss got beef with Asians. It's like it seems like it's exclusive. Tell me Asians. those fucking fire ass okay. lines right now. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Seuss Enterprises did not spend, so two of his six books mm -hmm. have been pulled. I think he had more than six. Though. Oh, he had a shit ton. Yeah, a shit ton. But I yeah, guess yeah, the, the two, the six in question, two of them have been pulled. Yeah, the first one is The Chink and the Stink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the Brendan Chop Show. Yeah. <laughs> in five, four, three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another drunken episode of the Genius Brain Podcast. I had a little bit too much vino. Let's go. Them Yo. tanners. Them tanners is feeling nice. Oh, those tanners, dude, are fucking great, tanners, man. Tanners. tanners, also known as tannins. Mm. And oh, tannons. Well, what, what hints am I getting here? This yeah. wine smells and tastes. Mm. Whisk okay. it around a little bit. Oh, Let's my bad. Aerate it. Aerate it. Aerate it. Mm -hmm. I, I, okay, hold on. Do that thing where you, you start yeah, like slurping in the like yeah. jello, yeah. like you're trying to suck jello through your teeth. Oh, singed hairs of a Yeti's <laughs> asshole. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Are you getting that too, Pat? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And a little shame. I like it. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I'm wow. getting semen in mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, David came in here. So oh, great. Yeah, yeah. Compliments yeah. to me, my friends. <laughs> yeah. Yo, David just cooked us a 17-course meal. He did. It was great. It was literally all the leftovers in my fridge because I made, so I made this goal this year that I don't buy new groceries until I empty my fridge. Wow. So I don't I like that. food. Yeah. It's been kind of rough because it's like <laughs> eating the same shit over and over. And it's just so when you guys, I was like, I'm going to fucking feed you guys all this shit. And I was like, well, it was so good you. though. It was delicious. It was, so bomb. It was, it was all bomb. The breakfast burrito was fucking bomb. Yeah. Crispy as shit. Bacon was nice. The uh, empanadas. Gyozas, empanadas yeah. that your homie made. Beautiful. And so then I don't know how to say what you the said. Mandu. Mandu. Yeah. How mandu. dare you fucking correct them? They are also called bro, gyozas. Disrespect. Bro. Gyozas, dumplings, you know. Yeah, all of a sudden. Gambit. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. <laughs> yes, boss. Yes, boss. Okay, I wanted the whole group of Asians in the house, yeah. you, me, and Mariel, to. He was like, what are these called? Gyozas? And I wanted to be Whatever, like, you identify as a Mexican. How dare you? Hey, what's up? Ooh. Hey, what's up? Ooh. Nah, bro. I'm, I'm yeah, you were trying to get him to call me the white devil, huh? You're yeah, like, yeah. white devil? Hey, call him the guai lo. Look at the guai fucking guai lo judging our food. I was like, there's Lale. Howley over here, bro. What does la le lu le lo mean, bro? La le lu le lo. Shit, that's some old school. That's some Metal Gear Solid, baby. What you know about that? That's some old timey shit. Fucking the other day, what's it called? Fucking everybody hit me up just because I had that new puppy, yeah. right? And I think because I post the puppy every now and then, every time there's dog news, people want to let me know about this crazy shit that's happening with dogs. And it's also because you saved your dog. Remember when that lady stole your dog in oh, Sacramento? That's I think right. that's another one thing too. That's what it is. So you're you're a stand-up comedian. He's a part-time fighter. Absolutely not. <laughs> part-time. I literally he part -time. beat up a man who doesn't know how to fight once. <laughs> stand-up really comedian. Right, <laughs> podcaster. I, I actually assaulted that man, <laughs> and I feel really bad. Influencer, <laughs> and he's also an animal rights activist. Yeah, bang. <laughs> Not really. I'd be eating those motherfuckers like crazy. Hey, you're like, <laughs> but you'd be saving them though too. You know what I mean? If you they got uh -huh. a dick and a pussy, I'm eating it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, 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 not, hey. not not sexually. Just I'm actually eating it. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 cannibalism yeah. style. You know? Yo, fucking, you're about the the Lady Gaga shit. Yeah, bro. We did that on JK News. And, you know, the good thing about JK News, when I go on it, like, I learn about stuff that I would never know about. Same so, here. My so, go ahead. what were you saying? No, no, go ahead. What were you saying? My I was going to say, my favorite part of that whole thing was I got, so I got a headline. I don't even follow any news apps on my thing. Uh -huh. I just got an alert. I don't even know what <laughs> app it was. I don't know how it got on my phone. But it said, Lady Gaga's uh, dog walker has been shot and her two dogs have been abducted. Right? That was the first one I got. Then, like, two days later... It was like, hey, Lady Dog, Lady Gaga's dogs have been returned safely, but no news about the guy who got. Sh I was like, is the guy, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the guy dead, bro? I think, I think, what happened? No, he he was fine. He got shot four times in the chest. In the chest. In the chest, bro. I don't know how he survived, but according to Tiff, he from lived. JK, yeah, according to Tiff from JK News, he won. Oh, he's definitely he won. He, he won. won. he won the battle, my guy. He's a rapper. He won then. the game, bro. He's definitely a rapper because there, there's only one way you can survive that many bullet shots is yep. if you rap. You got, yeah. He's got to have some rhymes in his Science, chest. Science, dude. Exactly. Got shot four fucking times with the dogs. That's a setup, dude. That's not real. If you have it rhymes probably, probably swirling works. around in your chest, you're going to be fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's like Teflon, baby. You got rhymes swirling around in there, baby. <laughs> got some Dr. Seuss shit going on in here, bro. <laughs> dude, you know, what? Yeah, what happened with Dr. Seuss? Yo, all these books are getting canceled. Why? Why? Guess what? My fucking jackass self, I was like, oh, you gonna cancel these books? I'm buying all of them. Yeah. They're all sold out. 
Wow. Uh, everybody hopped on it because now they're going to keep it as a collector piece. Maybe it was like a marketing move from his... Is he alive? Who is uh, Dr. Seuss? Dr. Seuss is nuts. Well, is Dr. Seuss is... Shel Shel and also, what happened? Shell Silverstein was sick. No, they're the same guy. Well, he's, People don't know that. Oh, shit. He is a... Well, he's an artist first, right? Yeah. So he did like children's books. There's actually a an art gallery out in New York that sells his private collections. Ooh. So he suffered from insomnia. And so he was like... Think of these crazy fucking weird ideas. If you really look, like think at it, right? Look at the the characters in his books. They're fucking <coughs> odd and obscure. They're, They're like weird, weird They're super cat odd. people. They're like all psychedelic shit. Yeah. So he was like, but a, it's cool though. Mm -hmm. it's, it looks dope. So his personal art is just like the Dr. Seuss books, but they're super fucking dark. Oh. And they actually have like some of the original pieces or very like a, an X amount of copies of them. Mm. They sell out in New York at this one gallery and they're pretty fucking dope, man. Really trippy shit. Yeah. yeah. So what's the story? Because I, I just saw a headline that said he's racist and I was like, wait, what happened? I mean, there's like, I honestly, it's like six or seven up. books. I don't think I personally read. Because if they got rid of the cat in the hat, oh, we was going to throw some elbows, dude. I thought, but, but I did <laughs> see something that they said that the cat in the hat was like dip was racist but my visceral reaction was like fuck off and i just i closed it i was like fuck this bro what the yeah. fuck are you kidding it's me? dr cool. seuss bro the lorax is dope yeah the lorax dude i speak for the trees the in my pocket barbaloots in my barbaloots yeah man come on Yo, son dr. Seuss i speak rapper. for the trees he was a rapper shoot that guy in the chest he'll fucking survive <laughs> anyway <bro. laughs> he's with a bazooka bro he's full of rhymes <laughs> <laughs> bro i see this shit Hold on, which books was it? I don't, I don't know. A lot. You can't, you cannot cancel the cat in the hat. Bro, How you can't. I'm Dr. trying to sue. Here's the crazy thing is I'm trying to find news from a, a, a published source. You know? It's all blog bullshit. And they're like, you know what? Nah, you got to pay $15 for the uh, rest of this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of my. course, Dr. Uh, fucking Time and Washington Post. Yeah, Washington Post. They won't even let you. Bro, what? what it's a lot of did books, he bro. Do? They said nine books. What's, what's the issue? I guess racist images, so like racist drawings. What? Oh, uh, you know what it is? It's all blackface. I'm just kidding. No, it's not. <laughs> I was like, they're not even humans. Though. It's all Jewish propaganda films. I mean, uh, the cat in the hat's actually a white cat playing as a black cat. I yeah, think that's yeah, the yeah. issue. The cat's quizzer. I don't even know half these books. That's that's a how old. So everyone's getting mad at this one. How old do you have to be to be a Japanese? <laughs> <laughs> that's what it says. That's fucking that's, hilarious. That's one of the lines. What? And the cat's quizzer. The cat in the hat said that. Yep. How old do you have There's to be a to yellow be a Japanese? figure in a coolie hat with a caption, how old do you have to be to be a Japanese? Yeah, but what was the degree of the slant of the eye? Because that really depends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we yeah. Figure that yeah. Out. You know, it was actually 90 degrees. We so got to yeah. contact that teacher. She'll be the expert and on Asian-ness. <laughs> mm, better like, that's like. not fucking racist. <laughs> 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 that's what she says. That's yeah. what she talks. So born Theodos Seuss Geisel in the U.S. state Whoa. of Massachusetts in 1904. Yeah, that motherfucker dead. 1904, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dr. Seuss became one of the world's best loved children's book authors. His works have been translated into dozens of languages and have sold millions of copies in more than 100 countries. Dr. Seuss died in 1991. Wow, he lived a long time. Wow, what life. the fuck? He did. Yeah. According to Dr. Seuss Enterprises, his works earned an estimated 33 million before taxes in 2020, up from 9.5 million five years ago. So. Let's see. The company said the decision to halt sales of six of those works came after months of discussions and a review of Dr. Seuss's titles by a panel of experts. <laughs> Ceasing sales of these books is only part of our commitment to broaden our, play, or, uh, our plan to ensure Dr. Seuss Enterprises catalog represents and supports all communities. What? What are you laughing so, at? Okay, I found it. So what? Dr. Seuss got beef with Asians. It's like, it seems like it's exclusively Yo, tell me Asians. those fucking fire ass okay. lines right now. Okay, so... Uh, <laughs> Dr. Seuss Enterprises did not spend, so two of his six books mm -hmm. have been pulled. I think he had more than six, though. Oh, he had a shit ton. Yeah, a shit ton. But I guess yeah, the, the two, the six in question, two of them have been pulled. Yeah, the first one is The Chink and the Stink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the Brendan Chop Show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dr. Seuss Enterprises did not specify which illustrations were offensive, but four of the titles contain cartoon depictions of Asian people. While three contain stereotypical portrayals of the Inuit. If I Ran a Zoo features a young boy imagining a hunting expedition to the fictional land of Zoba Matant, where locals, in quotes, wear their eyes at a slant. <laughs> End quote. Other pages show also the African island of Yurka, featuring squat African tribesmen with large hoops through their noses. And to think, that I saw it on Mulberry Street has its young protagonist imagining an increasingly fanciful street parade that includes a Chinaman who eats with sticks. 
a Raja with rubies and a two fur clad figure is being pulled by a reindeer. So most of it is just like the Chinese guy. But you know, I, I got to say though, when I look at old pictures of Asian people, they be looking like them cartoons, man. <laughs> like back in the day, yeah. they, they some goofy looking motherfuckers. <laughs> Dude. Also, bro, this guy was born in 1904. 1904. Yeah. Like if, if you if you take today's world and you look at the past through like a that like yeah. our lens now it's like yeah of course, oh, everything was like racist back then like i guess everything. Like they're, i guess they're kind of trying to keep up to date with current climate which i i, I guess i understand do you think that's necessary though i don't think so because when i look at those books and when I, if you if you show like these asian people with with you know slanted almond eyes we do have that yeah it's just when you use that as an as an insult is where it's a problem yeah right. you know what i mean if yeah. it's like oh they have smaller eyes listen we do <laughs> oh, we absolutely do. What I don't like is the cover-ups, right? It's like, this is a part, like, unfortunately, whether you agree with it or not, and you like it or not, it's part of our history. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, this, exactly. is, this is, these are published works, you know? And it's not like we can go back and just scrub it all out, because what's the point of that, right? Well, I guess because yeah. they're still publishing the books now, right? Because oh, they're not, see, see, see. It's so not, it's future It's not like the Dead Sea Scroll, right? The kids are still fucking yeah. buying these books and now. That's what, they, that's what they have to remake, because that shit is mad racist. But they <laughs> <laughs> but they could also <laughs> we gotta we gotta cancel the niv my guy like, yeah. that shit is wild yeah dude they could leave it up to the buyer though you know like it's like hey if i don't want to read this shit as a parent or exactly. whatever then i won't yeah but they're probably just covering their ass for future stuff i think when so it, when yeah. i see that it doesn't seem very i mean as an asian person i don't yeah. find that offensive like if it's just you know characters with slant eyes i'm yeah. like well there are asian people that look like that and they're not saying it's all asian people yeah there, right? yeah right and i don't know man it just seems like it's, it's they're really of, reaching, bro. Yeah, that you're trying to get Doctor Seuss. Like you're next? reaching. What's next? What else are they gonna scrub out from history or or, or like kind of yeah. from like movies and stuff? Are they gonna go back and and I don't know? Yeah, you know what's kind of crazy? Do you know the the backstory of the ice cream song? Da, na, 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 da, na, na, no, what, I heard bro, it's racist as it fuck. Is is it? I heard it's racist. It's kind of creepy too. Like, like. wait, but that wasn't the ice cream song, dude. I don't know what, what you is just the, said. What did I do? <laughs> that was like you're the like, Great Gatsby. Or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is the ice cream <laughs> song? <laughs> oh, that's like the what's the tannins in the tannins. The tannins in this wine are amazing. <laughs> what's the ice cream song? I don't know how to do it. I can hear it in my head right now. I can't do it. Do no. it right now, bitch. It I goes, swear to God, after you just roasted me in front of like fucking a hundred thousand people, you do it right now. It goes. It goes like this. I can't. I'm no. a fucking. Hey. 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 Dude. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I was gonna do the same nah, shit nah, you did. Nah, nah, it goes. Nah, how nah, the fuck does it go? It goes some old timey nah, shit, bro. Nah, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. This is yeah. Japanese EDM right now. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Ice cream. Oh, there's a there's a YouTube compilation of how the top fuck ten. Does it go? I can hear ice it. cream truck songs. Let's figure it out. There's only one. No, that's not an ice cream song. That's a that's Pokemon like, song, yeah. bitch. That's Bro, a Game hey, Boy Pokemon. This is what the YouTube tell me. No, no, no. Go to the one. This this is exactly no. You're right. This is from the Pokemon game. <laughs> that the is game Pokemon. Boy Color, yeah, it's like, Pokemon. That's what it sounds like. Right here. Hold on. It was a song called Turkey in the Straw. That sounds racist as fuck. <laughs> All right, thanks you, bitch. <laughs> Play the song. Like that? That's no, that's a weird version of no, it. No, that's not it, dude. You know what that sounds like? Don't get mad at me. I that's don't not know. it, dude. All right. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck, man. I did uh, Ice Cream Man song, racist version. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fucking song, bro. I can hear it. It's I the just fucking can't do it. Song, bro. It is. I know, I I know what I'm it. talking about. It's like when I want to draw something, I, ha I have no artistic skills. I can see it, but I can't. It's yeah. stick figures when I No, I, I need you to try it one more time for us, please. <laughs> How's it go, bro? I don't know, bro. This is worth a million dollars. My parents didn't let me go to ice cream trucks when I was a kid. There's a lot of this going on. Ding, ding, ding. That's the instrument. <laughs> the instrument is this ding, ding. Nope. Nah. That's All not the it. songs you pulled up sound oh. racist as fuck. The, whenever it's like, yeah, yeah that's, that dude's dropping end bombs. <laughs> Hold on. We're going to find it right Where's now. Where's the normal? How the fuck? Oh, ba da dun da 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 Is that it? I think it, it just played right now. That's it. Yeah, because they they use that melody for everything. Yeah. 
Dun, 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 dun. That song's original title is Edward Won a Watermelon. Wow. Bro. Oh. It's crazy racist, dude. That's wild. Bro, whoa. Yeah, just... let's let's cancel that shit, bro. People just what? people just want to just say whatever they want. Back in the day, it was fine. They could say whatever the fuck they They're want. You can name a song whatever you want. This podcast is brought to you by CBD Farmhouse, my friends. If you haven't heard me talk about this stuff right here, well, then you don't know me at all. And this is an easy, easy ad placement for me to do because I use this stuff on the daily, whether it's their sleepy time gummies, their tinctures, their topical ointments, whatever, you name it. But right now, the product that I love the most is the sleepy time gummies because I have been having a lot of trouble sleeping lately specifically because of work and my my time schedule has been all messed up these things knock me out and the best part about it is it helps me wake up without feeling groggy i love it if you're sore you guys can use their freezing roll-on you could use their topical creams whatever you want cbd farmhouse has it and guess what for my listeners out there, if you guys want to try their products and you are sworn in and you guys are convinced because I use it all the time, guess what? You can get 15% off by using my code BRAIN on their website, cbdfarmhouse.com. Enter code BRAIN to get 15% off. Once again, that's cbdfarmhouse.com. Enter code BRAIN to get 15% off. I love this stuff and I know for a fact you will too, whether you have anxiety, muscle aches, pains, whatever ever you need to chill out cbd farmhouse has it for you love you bitches Ugh. so it goes you i'm gonna say replace the word with ninja okay okay, go, okay. Go, go, go. you ninja quit throwing them bones and come down and get your ice cream quit throwing them bones and then black men incredulously <laughs> oh. ice cream and brown this is the person that's singing yes ice cream color man's ice cream watermelon oh dude so ninja <laughs> level watermelon ha 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 Ninja level watermelon, ha, 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 ha. For here, they're made with a half pound of C-O-L. I don't know. That's some old people shit. Cool. There's nothing like a watermelon for a hungry coon. Oh, wow. bro. Ben, this song is terrible. Hey, but yep. cancel Dr. Seuss though, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so first, Brown simply used the well-known melody of the early 19th century song, Turkey in the Straw, which dates to the even older and traditional British song, The Old Rose Tree. Fuck these titles. The yeah. tune was brought to America's colonies by Scott Irish immigrants who settled along the Appalachian Trail and added lyrics that mirrored their new lifestyle. Yikes. What in the fuck, dude? That's really bad. That's no, no, really no, bad. No, 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 no. I still can't do it. I dude, think... it was giving like new lyrics in the 1820s where mm. instead of t it being titled that, it was titled Zip Coon. Bro. Zip Coon? This shit's crazy. What is, what is the zip Yeah, what does that to? mean? This is so funny. It's like when I when you when you kind of look up history like this, and then you go to now, and people are like, just get over it. I'm like, hold on, bro. Yeah, bro. It's a lot to get over. Yeah, it. there's yeah, a lot. Like, there's a lot for sure, hey, bro. If you're making songs about like another race like that, bro, that's that's rough, dude. There was something that's I saw on TikTok rough. that I wanted to fact check just to see if this person was just being uh, like a little bitch. Yeah, and you know everybody's on their SJW shit, but they were bringing up this factoid where back in the day, um, it wasn't a very widespread practice. But there was a, he was either a physician, a doctor, or something like that. The leeches. But he, per, but he loved having leather goods made out of, like, black slave skin. Yo, what? Like, shoes, wallets. He, it wasn't, and it was, I looked it up on history.com where they fact-checked everything, right? They said, well, if you did hear about this, it's actually true, but it wasn't very widespread. It was, like, specifically this one guy that would talk about sure. how much he liked <clears> it. He goes, I like it in my my shoes, my wallets, and he would it would be made out of black people's skin because he thought it looked beautiful and he would skin them. Wow. That is fucking vile, bro. Dude, I'm telling you, this country that has is, some fucked up shit, oh, yeah. man. That is it's got a dark, dark past. That's why when they were tripping on, like, remember when uh, Django came out, they were tripping on Quentin Tarantino, like, mm -hmm. why this white guy made this movie or whatever. And he was like, uh, they were, they, he was kind of saying like, bro, like, this is just like a depiction he was like my movie it was probably worse than what my movie is yeah you know what i mean which is true like they had dudes skinning motherfuckers and wearing them as shoes like that's crazy like the history of america's history is dark but like dark, if you dark. don't if you watch that shit and you don't feel like angry to a certain degree i think there's something wrong with you like you know what i mean like when you watch like certain parts of Jank, like you know it's a movie but it's still like it's fucked this up. is fucked up like this is crazy like to really think like oh yeah that's how our country was found. how did you feel when jeremy lynn was called coronavirus. I was like, get over it. Chink and the stink. That's <laughs> there what I was the yeah. chink and the stink. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. you know. New podcast name. 
I think we should do that. <laughs> I think we should do that. I'll be the stink and you'll be the chink. <laughs> That's perfect. You guys, should, no I'm more, down. no more uh, big mad anymore. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. the chink and the stink. Yeah. I'm gonna come up with a name for Alex. Like, what's Alex? He's Salvadorian, right? Yeah. The chink and the stink and pupusas. <laughs> and pupus. Oh, perfect. The little pupusas, the dude. Pupus. Yeah, dude. But that song is. It's rough, and I had no bro. idea. Me neither. That's crazy. And we still need Pat to sing it right now. <laughs> I think it the is full the full lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> the full lyrics? Hold on. There it is. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's hot! Yeah! Oh, that's yeah. hot! <laughs> hey, Damn. I'm not, dude, I have very, I bet you watched it though. That fucking Netflix documentary about that hotel in LA. Oh, you talking about the Hotel Cecil? Cecil Peoples? Yo, what the fuck is that about? I so, could, I could let watch me tell it. you, this, the problem with certain documentaries is that they should just be one episode. Yes. The CISA Hotel was four episodes and three episodes too long. You didn't like the fucking three different documentaries about R. Kelly raping? <laughs> that could have been done in two episodes? That also too. That <laughs> also too. Uh, but like even that one was better done than this one. The Hotel C Cecil. It was because they would give you these facts. Not like facts. They would insinuate certain things that happened in this mysterious case that were so later debunked in the last episode mm. that it was like, oh, just say that from the beginning. Because the reason why you're watching this is because of the speculation. Because mm. this woman was found in the water tank of the hotel. Do you know the story? Uh, not that part. I some, didn't get that part. Some can, so some Canadian chick came to <laughs> LA. Woman. Oh, yeah. Woman. Yeah, you can't say chick, huh? People get mad at you for saying chick. I think so. Everything's sensitive, but I heard like, I don't mean I call everyone bad. dudes. I call everyone Female chicks, is very derogatory. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm Why? trying to give me some females later, bro. You know what, what I mean? Like, females a female. I guess like girls feel like you're kind of talking like they're an animal. Like an animal. Yeah, male. I see female more than like I understand that female? more than uh, a chick, like saying chick. Well, when I say a chick, I don't mean anything like that, but whatever. Uh, so this girl from Canada, she's like 18. She came to vacation in Los Angeles. She needed to get away. And then she stayed at this Cecil Hotel which is like the craziest history. Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker, would go and stay at this hotel. Like it was a lot of, it's right in the middle of Skid Row. A lot of homeless people would, would live there because it's like really low income and it's like three bucks a night or whatever. It was supposed to be like this um, really <clears throat> well done hotel that's cheap, that's cheap for people to stay. And it had like its glory and heydays, but then there was the Great Depression that happened then it just fucked it all up mm. and then you know, they, I'm so glad they explained what Skid Row is. There could yeah. be a whole doc on Skid Row. For real. Absolutely. And they barely touched upon it, right? And like, low-key, it's more fascinating than than this document. Oh, 100%. Like, Let Skid me tell you something. Yeah. When somebody breaks open a hydrant in front of me and then fucking bidets his asshole with <laughs> hydrant water, that's, that right there Bro. was... I, I couldn't even laugh. I was yeah. just shocked. Because low-key, you're like... Fucking genius. It's like uh, it's like the Walking Dead in real life. Yeah, you drive through there, dude. It's hey, crazy. It's to top that up. off, he then had an open suitcase and collected the water in the suitcase, zipped it up, and started walking away as water was spilling out the suitcase. No, no, no you're lying. No leaks. <laughs> I refuse to believe yes. that there was leaks out of that. Oh, suitcase. you mean the fabric suitcase? <laughs> <laughs> the was, pine green fabric suitcase. It, it was a Jansport backpack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I can't even. let This is so sad. But at the wow. leather bottom, so it was good. Yeah. Dude, it I like out. the thought process though. He's like, I'm a, I, that felt so good washing my ass. I'm gonna collect more to wash my ass later. <laughs> <I know. laughs> he's like, I'm gonna save some of this. I need some more. He gets home. He's like, fuck, where the water come? Uh, this shit. water's good. I was like <laughs> around the corner and shit. Damn, that's foul, dude. With the, and then she. <laughs> She was missing for a while. Nobody could find where she was. And then she ended up being in the water tank uh, on the top of the building. For like weeks, right? For weeks. And then some, some of the people that were staying there, the water was brown. Drinking it. Drinking it, it. Shower, brushing their teeth in it. They're like, it was a little funky. I don't Yo, know. What yeah. it was. Get the fuck out yeah, of it's here. And then human. It was human. Blood. Yeah, for real. So what, so what happened? So she, this, this girl, I think she suffered from bipolar Oh, she was bipolar. She was bipolar. And then she was uh she was undertaking her medication. Mm. Undertaking, is that the word? I don't know. Mm. She was uh under consuming her medication that she needed, and she was having a manic episode. So that video of her in the in the hotel lobby, and she's like looking around and she's kind of like, it looks like someone's chasing her. They were like, What like who's chasing her? In the documentary, they frame it as someone is there. 
Oh, we could, cause you know what it is too. They also reference these YouTube sleuths, these people that like go on YouTube and they investigate. Oh case. yeah, these fucking experts. Because they're so fucking qualified Continue. to do <clears throat> yeah. investigations, mm -hmm. right? They're saying like, oh, there's a shoe in the shot. I don't know where the, f I don't know what's happening. Like somebody's there. The hotel, uh, the elevator doors weren't closing. So that means someone was holding her there. Looks like she's talking to somebody, right? Wasn't mm -hmm. one of the, the theory, like, wasn't the video edited? Wasn't yeah, that one of the big exactly. pieces? And they kept saying that in, in the documentary, like, oh, the video was edited, yada, yada, yada. But it wasn't. So all the points of speculation in the end were had very reasonable explanations. Like all these YouTube sleuths kept like speculating and like they just go down this rabbit hole. And what the problem is, is that they're looking at it from a very small lens and they're only getting the information that the, that the cops released to them. So they don't get the whole picture. So they're trying to like, oh my God, what's happening? And they're adding more shit to the fucking pile of misinformation as always. And what happened was, was that she was having a manic episode. She was looking around and she was having delusions apparently. And it was... And it seemed like somebody was chasing her because that's what she was seeing. She made her way all the way to the top, looked at the water tank and was reaching for it, something, and then she fell in. And she probably couldn't get out. Drowned to death. She drowned to death. And that's what happened, right? But there's all these like certain things that they talked about where, oh, her clothes were gone. Her clothes were off at the bottom. She was naked in the water tank. So that must mean foul play. Right, mm. but really, what happens? They have scientific explanations. They're saying like, when you get into a water tank like that, it's probably you're really cold and you feel hypothermia. So, mm -hmm. when people feel that way, they start stripping their clothes off to kind of get <clears throat> warm or whatever. Right, and that's what happened. And then they had all these like theories that turned out to be like, just there was <laughs> there was no reason. Like this story should have just been this. It was a very unfortunate story about this girl who had a mental health episode. She passed away. People saw accident. brown water and they were like, looks good to me. Yeah. And just drank it. Drank it. Also, this it, hotel was it, crazy. Everything. This hotel is nuts. Dude. Like, you know what? The part that was cracking me up was when they were interviewing people who used to stay at that hotel. Yeah. And there's this one dude. And this will just, just, just fuck hookers there the whole time. He was, oh, that play was popping back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you did not need to interview this man yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, or put him in the documentary. Like, yeah, yeah, he, was, he was probably the best part of the documentary. He's like, I'm over here just walking up to these ladies at the night and I'm having my fun. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you have to do with anything? <laughs> <laughs> like, just go away. He's like, he's like at least I am. Who the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, the fuck you talking about? He's like, I was slaying pussy up in this place. If you talking about murders, I was slaying pussy. <laughs> Bro, the crazy story, though, is that Richard Ramirez was living there when he was murdering people. <clears throat> and they would have stories of him walking all the way up to the 14th floor where he stayed, just covered in his underwear and blood. Just in his underwear. And oh, nobody okay. said anything. Because that's how crazy the hotel was. Like, the people that would go there were just like... You didn't know who was staying next to you. Isn't there like a satanic element to it or something like that? Kind like there's a lot of I crazy heard something like that. There was a well, it's just like so many people have died there, like all this crazy shit. Like the people that it attracts are just not very good people. So what they did was they tried to rebrand the hotel, right? The very top of the hotel, I guess there's a law in LA where they have to have a lower income housing for all the people that kind of live in the area. And but the lower floors they, they could be renovated and that's what they try to do. So the man manager at the time was saying, hey, we could create a new hotel with new branding within the Cecil Hotel. So there's a Cecil Hotel and then there was a hotel called a Stay at Main. And it was like really nice, looked young. It was kind of like a hostel. And that's where this girl found this really cheap room. But they were saying that when you're in this room, when you're in these, this hotel, you don't know who you bump into all types of crazy, scary people. And that's what the whole speculation was. And they, and they kind of mislead you in the documentary. They kind of mm. like tell you like, oh, like see, it, foul play, foul play, foul play. And then they try to, they blamed it on this one like punk. Like, no, he was like a metal head or something like that. And all these YouTube sleuths were saying like, yo, this motherfucker, he's like into death metal. He's talking about like murdering people. And they're saying, this guy killed Elisa Lamb. He's the one. They have no proof, bro. They ruined this fucking guy's life. They're That's commenting crazy. on all of his shit. Like, you killed Lisa Lamb. You're a murderer. Yeah. He, like, I, for, I forgot what the extent, like, he was, like, suffering through depression. He was like, I didn't kill this girl. And they're saying, like, you were at the hotel the same time that she was there. And turns out 
He was there a year before. Wow. A calendar year before while wow. she was in the hotel. And they kind of ruined this fool's fucking career. Dude, there was saying a, that he murdered this chick. There's like a YouTuber <laughs> that does that too. I think his name is like like Cream Star or something like that. Oh, great. But name. like this guy's name is like Cream Star or some shit. He does and cream pies on the side. He's like this 50 year old <laughs> dude that does a uh, YouTube drama. And he, was, <laughs> he just talks about like hey, kids' drama. What's a YouTube wow. drama? I don't fucking know some useless <laughs> shit, but he just. He's 50? Yeah, he's like a 50 year old guy. He might be 40 something or something like that, but he's like a grown yeah, ass man. What a loser, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but this guy literally finds dirt about any type of YouTuber possible. He tries to ruin their fucking career. Wow. And he did it to this one older man who's like a streamer, and he said that he was like a pervert or a rapist or some shit. Dude, this, this older man who just likes playing games got his life ruined. Like that people sucks. were attacking him, calling him a rapist or whatever, going on his Twitch streams or whatever. And this guy was just so fed up. He just starts bawling. He goes, I'm not, I'm not a pedophile. Like, who, what the yeah. fuck? And so he had like very substantial, circumstantial like e evidence. And he just almost wrecks this older man's <clears> life <throat> over nothing. And this guy still has a YouTube channel today and he makes millions of views. Can't you get sued over that? Can't you like- For defamation, yeah, right? Because like, yeah. it's, it's false stuff. That old guy actually can sue him for defamation. Yeah, like, right. he, he can't. I'm surprised he hasn't done it yet. He's probably just so like, I don't even want to, I don't want to hear this fucking guy's name. Yeah. Because, dude, that's so irresponsible. Because you could make claims about, fuck, and it happens all the time, where you could just say, you could say whatever. And now yeah. in the age of the internet, it just becomes fact. It's weird. If you hear this guy talk, like this guy Creamstar, when he talks into like a, a video, I saw him pop up on Twitter because Logan Paul said something about him. And you know that guy, the H3, H3 guy? The yeah, guy yeah. yeah. So he said something along the lines of... um he wishes death upon them or some shit or something upon like their family or whatever, right? What not, right? And so this guy Cream Star is on uh, Twitter saying like, you know what? That's like so disrespectful. Like I can't even believe somebody was, I'm like, bro, you're like 40. Why the fuck are you talking like a 14 year old girl, dude? Yeah, what What's a lame. What's wrong with you? What the guy's lame. fucking weird. He's married and he has kids too. I'm like, who the fuck is Who's wrong this with this guy? Loser fucking. Imagine yeah. that's how you made your money. Yeah, he's that's how like he makes all he's, he's balling, dude. All he does is find teenager like angst and drama, and he just talks about it. He goes in today's news. I like I saw Cream one Star? video. I had a, I think it's called Cream Star. What a fucking loser this guy is. Yeah. So I was like, I can't watch his stuff. I mean, yeah. You know, you know, kudos to him to making that money or whatever. But I, I don't guess know, that's man. like a dirty way to do it. Though. Very that's dirty way. Just Gross, tear dude. people down. You yeah. fucking lame ass loser. He sounds like a fucking little cuck. That's what he sounds like. Yeah. Cuck. Yeah, dude. Like what? Imagine that's what you started. That's what you made your fucking YouTube channel on. What's you your make, life like, bro? Yeah, dude, you're investigating. Logan and he's Paul's married. Life. He has kids. Married yeah. has kids. Oh, I'm sorry. His name is <laughs> Cream Star. I was his like, name, his name is Keem Star. I'm sorry. Keem. Keem. Keem Star. I don't know. I don't know what that means. His, oh, his actual name is Daniel Keem. Oh. Yeah. Cream Star. I'm sorry, dude. I didn't mean to say that shit. But <laughs> I was trying to make a joke. You I know, you should just no, call him him. Cream Star. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Oh, his channel is called Drama Alert. Drama, Drama alert. alert, dude. It's fucking what hilarious. Is he a I gotta see girl? his face. <laughs> Some people, I just have to see their face. Yeah, to see I want to see, like. see this motherfucker, bro. Eam star. This is probably how he, he got big. Dude, he has like six million, um, oh. six million subscribers. Hey, people like the cheese. Man, Look at this. Though, you know, the title of his videos: James Charles needs to be put in jail for this. Oh yeah, wait, is this him? The guy with the makeup on? That's him? No, that's, no, that's James, James, James Charles. Oh, that's James Charles. Who the fuck is James <laughs> Charles? Doesn't know who James James I don't know Charles who the fuck is. that is. God, what a loser, right? You fucking idiot, dude. You don't know who James Charles is. I thought it was Nick for a second. <laughs> <laughs> My lips ain't that big. Is this dude? Is this 40 year old guy right here? He needs, loser, and he's talking bro. about like young YouTuber teen drama as living. Low key, like good for what him, but also. Fuck. Nah, what, what a lame doing, bro. I mean, good for you, man. You made that money, bro, but literally. I but mean, at least come correct with the facts, bro. Like, yeah, you almost ruined somebody's life, man. Yeah, you're like slandering some poor guy's name. What? Drama alert. I only found this out because when I, I didn't know who he was, right? And on Twitter, I wrote this comment. You know, I'm just making jokes on Twitter. I was like, I can understand what this guy's saying, but why does this fucking 50-year-old dude sound like he's like a 14-year-old girl, yeah. right? Just making a joke or whatever. Yeah, sure. And then a bunch of fans saying, fuck this guy. This guy's trash. This is all the stuff that he's done. I'm like, who is this dude? So I kind of wanted to look into it. And he has, he's a pretty sus-ass character, man. Like he's, He kind of has like this moral high horse where he's like, I'm here to, I'm just giving out the fucking news to people and I'm trying to take down people who are bad. I'm like, bro, you're like a thousand years old and all you do is gossip about what little kids do. You're a fucking pedo, dude. Yeah. He's yeah. got to have some skeletons in the closet. Oh, for sure. hundred percent. For sure. That's yeah. when we start. He's and then he's going to do a video about me. It's going to ruin my yeah. whole career. <laughs> hey, Cream Star. I'm, so, wait, I'm sorry. Keem Star. I'm so sorry. No, Cream Star is good. Cream Pie Star. Listen, Cream I, star. I don't know him personally, all right? Yeah. I, I only know the surface level facts from what people have sent me. Yeah. Yeah. But, but that's my favorite person. Whatever. Whatever it is. Lame. 
We could, we could just talk shit and say whatever. Bryce Hall cheated on Addison Ray. Leaked text $75,000. KSI ban. PewDiePie strike down. It's literally any kind of like teen YouTuber that he just talks gossip. Damn, like about. all just negative snitch ass bullshit. <laughs> He's a fucking snitch, <laughs> bro. Yeah, bro. What a snitch, yeah. dude. Somebody fuck needs to guy. fuck his ass up. Yeah, somebody yeah, needs yeah, to bro. fuck this dude up. He looks like binging with Babish. That's what he looks like. <laughs> yeah. Hey, binging, binging with ba Babish? Babish. <laughs> 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 Blobish? Damn, dude, am I having a stroke? Why, why don't I know anybody's name? Hey, he's hanging out with me too much, bro. I know, fucking Nick. Hey, binging with Blobbish is fucking dope. <laughs> Everyone's trying to find him. He's like, who's binging with Blobbish? Blob I can't find him anywhere. You know what's funny, though? Like, there's definitely people who cook on YouTube that I watch. Because I, I love watching YouTube yeah. cook videos, right? Mm -hmm. Bending, bending. <laughs> So we're done with this podcast. For the day. <laughs> I just literally fucking made a, a fucking a, a, a fucking Pakistani movie right now. Bindi with Babish. <laughs> Binging with the Bangalabas. Yeah. Welcome to Bindi with Babish. <laughs> today we're going. Show. Yeah. Where you only make Indian food. And yeah. Stuff. Today we are going to only make Indian food, and it's going to hurt your stomach. Hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't care. But um, this guy. There's a lot of like YouTube cook <laughs> people. I like their recipes. They're really good for like foundation cooking. But when they cook, all their food looks unappetizing to me, man. Mm. Mm. It looks like it, it doesn't have soul. Mm. You know why? Because it takes so long for them to make it. Maybe. They, especially with binging with Babbage. Like there's some stuff that he makes is really fucking dope. But a lot of it is like, oh, this is cool to kind of see the process of how certain things are cooked from like the textbook way. He makes me never want way. to cook ever. Yeah, because it looks so like, oh my God, this poor guy goes through so yeah. much work. So when you have over here and you have the glutamate state attached over here to the proteins, and I'm like, yeah. I'd rather kill myself than eat ever <laughs> yeah, again. Yeah, low key, that's awful. Like, there's another guy named Joshua Wiseman who's really good too. Oh, I, after dope. you mentioned him to me, yeah. I saw his videos. His food looked good, dude. Really good. That bro, that dude's food looked fucking good, yeah, dude. His videos are cool to watch, too. Yeah, he fat, too, so I'm like, he know what's yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, that, boy got, yeah. that boy got cakes on him, dude. Yeah, he got a, he got a little naguitas on him. <laughs> I know, dude. Naguitas. <laughs> Joshua Weissman. Is his channel just called Joshua Weissman? Yeah, he's dope. He's yeah, really he's dope. funny, too. He's a funny dude. He's really funny. I like him a lot. Gilbert uh, put me on game on him. Oh, Gilbert would love him, that fucking yeah. fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, guys. We can all call him that. That's yeah, and I'm also fat, too, so I can call him that, so it's okay. <laughs> Damn, dude. Cream Star, man. That's a good name. It's so weird, What an though, asshole. Man. Like, I, I don't understand. Oh, how are people so open? Like, how is it? How has it become so... Uh, what's the word? Like, just... How are people so comfortable snitching nowadays? I don't... Because people aren't getting shot. Like, I want people to yeah, get their ass whipped. Bro, I went on Twitter. I never go on Twitter. I went on Twitter the, like a couple Bro, weeks Twitter ago. Just like, what's so going toxic. on here? And it's just literally, this guy said this. <laughs> that guy did that. He said this to her. I was like, <laughs> he said this to her. Damn, like, why is er every? It's just a snitch fest. Dude, yeah. like, I'm just everyone's trying to, a snitch. I'm just trying to enjoy a life, man. That's why, like, I don't do, like, people want me to do these rant videos all the time, right? And I'm like, do I look like a snitch to you, yeah. motherfucker? Yeah. That must be so exhausting sometimes. It's It kills my spirit. Also, yeah, yeah snitching is shame. Like, it's shameful. Yeah. Are like, you ashamed of being yeah. such a snitch all the time? Well, like, if, you, if you have, like, a, a, a warrant, like, if there's a reasonable thing to say, like, Edward Snor Snowden level, like, hey, this is some shit, there's a problem here, bang. Okay, yeah, that's good. He said this to her. He well, Like, bro, what are you doing? And also, it's you got a life? Yeah, it's also like whenever you see someone that just only talks about other people, red flag. You got to raise an Big eyebrow. Big red flag. Because it's like you got to be at least a little self -de self deprecating. You got to like talk some shit. Like you got to be a little honest about yourself too. If you're going to be shining the light on everybody else, you know, like I don't like. You know that. what? A lot of people though, and I think there's like a psychology behind this too. Don't ask me. I don't read. But, <laughs> I don't read. I don't. I don't read. But. Um, <laughs> If you notice this, like you'll see, and this is not just a young person thing. Um, people tend to gravitate uh, or de develop friendships based on hating a, somebody else, yeah. like making a common enemy. Yeah. So I had um, a friend, she's younger, but I had to take her aside and had a conversation with her because I, she had a habit of developing relations by talking shit about people, but within the same circle. So word gets around, yeah. right? So I had to take her aside. I'm like, hey, yo, cut that shit out. Right. And she was like, what? Like, I'm just like, we're just having conversations. I was like, no, 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 no. What you're doing is you want to be the fact person in the group because you know this and this about everybody else. Mm -hmm. And so you're creating these pseudo bonds by developing hate towards a specific individual. Yeah. Every time you develop a relationship is based on hate. 
oh, what do we hate about this person? Oh, this shit is fucking whack. And then you go to that same person you were talking shit about and talk shit about the other person. Then you create this fake bond. Yeah. So you're actually making drama only because you think that you're developing relationships with people. But everybody develops like these weird, like terrible bonds by creating a singular enemy. Mm. Yeah. Right. And it's just the worst way to do it. You have, because after that enemy has gone, what do you have left? Yeah, right. You have nothing to talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Literally nothing. It's that weird moral high ground, right? It's like everybody likes to ah, actually to. It's like people want to punch up a lot of the times too, right? Yeah. They, they try to punch like like this fucking mega cream star guy, cream pie star guy. Yeah. This guy probably kill all well, he does kill based on him just shitting on people that would never give two fucks about what I mean he, he doesn't say. care though like he only sees his paycheck yeah right? right and so mind you these people who are going through their personal stuff and by the way young people too I never grew up with social media so I don't know what it feels like to be controlled by everybody else's opinion yeah right? yeah we kind of grew up in an area was like hey fuck it move on like I'll fucking smash your teeth in you know yeah, yeah. we can see what'll happen but mm. so I don't know what it does to the mental psyche right because mm. When you when he does this type of bullshit, right? And obviously we do it too when it's yeah. like a huge headline that everybody's talking about. We're like, oh, let's have a discussion on it. But this guy's literally snitching for a fucking living. Mm -hmm. For a living. Right? And it's probably giving these kids fucking anxiety. They're like, oh, what's he going to say about me? Is he going to cancel me because he has... <coughs> He's going to start like this whole like fervor about how I'm a terrible person. Fervor. And this nice. guy lives like that. Yeah. yeah. And he's okay with it. That's what scared me about. What was that documentary about uh, social media? It was like the social dilemma. Social dilemma. That's yeah. what freaked me out is at one point it talks about how social media basically hijacks young people's minds. And, and just in that sense, like you said, makes you care about everyone else's opinion and like yeah. makes your anxiety of, of like where you fit in in the group. Like, cause we all have that as social animals. Like we're all like, we want to fit in, but like you want to be an individual. And that's mm. kind of like a thing that we all have to deal with or whatever. But like when everything's online and it's like, everyone thinks, that, you know, you're ugly cause of this picture or with you, this blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. It just kind of like amplifies that whole, that anxiety fucking. Yeah. This podcast is brought to you by Junbi Matcha. Do you hate the jitters and crash that coffee gives you? Well, say no more, my friends, because hundreds of thousands of people are drinking Junbi Matcha, not only for the health benefits, but for the caffeine boost that lasts without the crash of coffee. You can mix it, have it hot, ice cold, or try it with your favorite juices and have fun with it. Remember, not all matcha is created the same and Junbi has the highest quality matcha you can find straight from a farm in Japan, handpicked and curated to get you the best quality there is. No competition. To get 10% off your first order of tins and packets, go to junbishop.com. That's J-U-N-B-I shop.com and enter code GeniusBrain to get 10% off your first order. That's J-U-N-B-I shop.com code Genius brain. And it's so crazy how people don't know that. Like a yeah, lot of I people never don't know. Known. That. that flies under the radar, right? Yeah. Hell yeah. But you know what it shows though is that some of these people that try to cancel people, I feel like their hearts are in the right place. Don't you think? Like a good majority of them just kind of like, oh, what else can we find fault in? Because whenever you're looking for fault, you're gonna find it. Well, they just want a pat on the back. Yeah. They, they right. want people to be like, you did a good job for society which is yeah, awful exactly yeah like when yeah. you especially like twitter like you were talking about twitter right like oh she did this he did that it's people love retweeting that shit they love like getting that echo chamber and they're like it's like a hoorah like yeah that guy sucks he's a piece of shit well, there was this there was this one young girl and people coined her the boba liberal it's like a what they call a lot of these young Asian kids that want to be angry oh, for no she, reason. Oh, she got the the highlights in her hair. Yeah, 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 yeah and yeah, she yeah. went after like uh, <clears throat> Asian people who kind of speak in like what she calls hood talk, which is yeah. uh, which is what black people do. And then there was black people that are offended. It's like, oh, well, what the fuck? Every single black person's ghetto. Is that what you're saying? Like, yeah. fuck you, bitch. Yeah, yeah, right. So you know, and here's here's the problem with that, right? With anybody who is, I don't know if liberal because I don't, I'm not into politics or anything like that. But if that's the term that you guys want to use, then that's the term. Say super liberal. How about yeah, that? like these boba liberals, right? They want to have an opinion boba about. Liberals. <laughs> they want to have an opinion about culture and people when you don't fucking know anybody and you haven't lived the life yet to even speak. You fucking sperm. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, you were bro. born yesterday. Yeah, right. So you should know that and keep your fucking mouth shut. And they read these things from a textbook. I'm just assuming that's exactly. how it is, right? Right? But it's also like it's taking it's taken out of context completely. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. They don't know about these cultures and people that they're speaking so adamantly about. Yeah. Right. right? Exactly. Like a matter of fact, I've seen her videos and I was like, this is bad. This is rough. This is bullshit. I you, watch don't, it. you don't know anything. She yeah. goes, 
Well, when uh, people, when Asian people speak in, the, in like like ghetto, right? They're they're literally culturally appropriating black culture. I was like, bro, that is the most offensive shit yeah, I've ever heard in my rough, life. Yeah, that's I was like, I was like, do you even know what you're saying? And so China McInerney had like an IG live thing. She wasn't. She goes, well, I learned this through somebody else. She wasn't even saying her own thoughts. She was regurgitating something that she heard from somebody else, which is huh? a lot of what happens. Exactly. Like in, all, in these all these situations, those echo chambers. That's exactly what and it it's is. Like, did you even have a conversation with any of these people that you're bashing, or or people who are like this? Yeah. So you're talking about people. For example, there's like Asian people who grew up in like, who's gonna talk to stupid young and say, don't talk the way that you speak? He grew up in Long Beach. He's a Long Beach <clears throat> crip, and you'd be like, you're appropriating black culture. <laughs> yeah, like, right, exactly. lives that life though yeah. bro. and it's right. not black culture that's no. just hood culture yeah, yeah right you know not yeah. that i'm defending it but it's more like it's very offensive for it's, you to attach fucking ghettoness and hoodness with only black people it's yeah. like bro you're not you're not helping the culture out you're actually being fucking stupid you bitch yeah. people exactly. were, you're being ignorant yeah. you're being a fucking ignorant idiot i remember yeah. some people in high school would be like why are you talking black and i was like what what does that mean I what the fuck? You're like, you're like, dude, I've heard what? people say that to. Oh, they're, I do this, and they're like, oh shit, my bad. And like, I pull my eyes back. They used to say that to Jose all the time. The guy that with the fucking black guys at the at the at the boxing thing. That dude sounds as Mexican as I've ever heard a Mexican person in my but life. From Watts. He, but he grew up in Watts, and he, he does <laughs> like if you talk to him more, he does sound like like you know mm. what I mean. He sounds black a little bit. So like he was like, what the fuck, like. And we we would tour with this guy who was always like, "Why are you talking like that? Why are you talking like?" He's like, "Bitch, I grew up in Watts. Like, what the fuck do you want me to like? I I talk like, yeah." And like for example, too, what are you gonna say to like uh, a Korean person that lives out in London and right. he has like a British <laughs> accent? Yeah. Hey, quit appropriating <laughs> right. British culture. Right. Exactly. But what the fuck you want from me, mate? Like, yeah, exa exactly. Like, what the fuck do you want, dude? Yeah. The fuck and out also, here. if that's how the guy you met talks, let him talk like that. Yeah. You think he's going to listen to you if you're like, hey, why do you talk like that? You shouldn't talk like that. Dude, you think he'll be like, oh, shit, you're right. I'm so sorry. And then we'll go about his day. Dude, my no, buddy dude. Ed met a Korean dude that grew up in India as a missionary. So this motherfucker is literally coming out. Good morning. <laughs> you know, that's, that's exactly what he would look like and say. Yeah, he would be like, good morning. <laughs> you know, today we are going to his listen manners. to scripture. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your Indian accent is very good. I grew bro. up with uh, an Indian a travel agency next to my parents store <laughs> yeah so i used to hear it all the time oh, really yep and so <laughs> you know he didn't make that up bro. Oh, yeah, legit. That's legit. 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 travel agency that is legit. Yep. there was a kid named abashek that was their kid's name abashek, <laughs> yep. abashek was a little balling ass kid i remember he he used to have like this little tonka trunk and i never had one mm -hmm. and i was big as fuck but your boy never had that shit. So you best believe I squeezed my ass in that <laughs> shit <laughs> like this. Yeah. I was like, I'll check this shit is mine. And he's like, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Yeah. You think you're so cool, don't you? <laughs> you're just going to take my truck that way, you fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> I, I think you should do the rest of the podcast with that accent. Yeah. Oh, no, that's highly offensive. <laughs> it only works in pockets. And I only get away with it because other Indian people go, that's pretty fucking good. <laughs> Why do you talk so Indian? <laughs> How fucking dare you? But usually when people ask you shit like that, or they're like, why do you talk all black? Like, well, it's know, just a weird they're, thing. And, and, they're white. <laughs> and it's yeah. so, uh, it's just, it's not that simple. Nothing is ever black and white no, like no, that. No, it's not. And it comes from people who have never met other people. And let me tell you something. The reason why I also found her very irritating, I'm like, she's probably coming from a good place. Let's see. She is not coming from a nah, good bro. place. She's somebody who wants to pat on her back. Let me tell you how big of a fucking loser this girl was, right? <laughs> she, anybody that writes their fucking school alma mater, Stanford on there, just goes to show you want people to think you're smart. Yeah, yeah. right. That's right, your right. identity. That's yeah. everything you care she about. Goes, Stanford right there. Good fucking job, dude. Who Great. cares? I don't, get, yeah, it's I don't all give clout. a fuck, bro. It's all cloud bullshit. Fuck that, dude. Fuck her. her. Fuck everybody like her. Fuck all her friends. <laughs> <laughs> dude, for real. Fuck all this. But people. like, you can't like give these people credit. Like, you can't let these. Like, I don't, I don't know. I guess there's always going to be people that are like, yeah, she's right. But at the same time, it's like, I feel like most people would hear her talk and think she's a fucking idiot, right? Yeah. But, you know, but they, but because they see like, oh, is this the trend for morality right now? Oh, I'm just going to agree with her. Yeah. And then people don't want to be on the side of quote unquote evil. So because she's in the the the, the world of righteousness, yeah. they're going to go towards that first. Right. And, so, and it's yeah. so misguided too. It's like yeah. it's so, everything she says too is like it's it's almost uh, she misses the mark so 
<laughs> That's what I'm saying. I watched like, like one so bad. I watched dude. one video of hers. I'm, you know, I, I I want to support a youth that is very vocal about shit like that. I'm mm-hmm. like, that's dope. But she wasn't saying anything smart. I was like, do you really go to Stanford? You fucking moron. Yeah. Like, what's wrong with you? You're yeah. you're literally somebody who is a textbook intellectual. Mm-hmm. Like, you read things and you think that's how everything applies in life. You have you're you are in you're not you're just in autopilot all the time. Yeah. That's how you are. Yeah. I I fucking hate that. And it took a dude. Uh, fucking China Mac to sit down and then, dope, and yeah. then fucking wreck this girl on IG Live. And some of the comments were so ridiculous too because I remember reading it. Somebody wrote, oh, you think you're so tough. You're like a 30-year-old man bullying a 20-year-old girl. It's like, no, 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 no. You opened your fucking mouth so you can fucking get it too. Yeah. Here, yeah. Everybody loves claiming bullying. Yo. Yeah. Are you a kid or are you adult? You can't pick and choose. Right, so, you came into an adult space. You spoke to a fucking adult like a fucking adult. Right. So you're gonna get fucking man or womaned up like an adult. That's yeah, all yeah. that it is. It's so crazy because because yep. now what's starting to happen in like the fitness community, right? Mm. So there's this all anti. It's it's been recent too. There's these really smart guys. His name is a uh, Doctor Spencer Nadalski, and he works with a lot of obese patients. And all these um, these anti diet people are saying that dieting is based in white like white supremacy. What? Yeah. How? It's just, it's the buzzword to attach anything that they yeah. don't want you to agree with. And it's, it's just it's, white supremacy. Yeah, you're more about to join the KKK real soon, yeah. man. <laughs> like, I'm what? fucking kidding, by the way. Eating like salads? Them, you know, like, like you would be. <laughs> like, like, accept me. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. hey guys, why power? <laughs> I'm like, get out of here, gook. <laughs> they're like, hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Bro, like, they, they're preaching salads at KKK meetings and shit, bro. <laughs> no. Like, what the fuck, dude? Wait, Zucchini? how are you attaching white supremacy to fucking dieting? So it's just like, they're talking about like the, the standard of like the ideal body and all that shit. It's like, it's like based in whiteness and white supremacy, but they're pretty much saying that like, if you say something like they'll blank if they type out the word obesity, they'll blank out the word. So it'll be like O B and then star star star. Like it's a like it's a curse word. Like it's a curse word. And like this guy, he <laughs> he works with a lot of obese like uh, patients. Like that's what he does for a living. Like he's a doctor. Yeah. And every his whole message is probably one of the best messages in the fitness industry, right? Like he's there to really help, you know. And these people are coming after him saying that, like, you know, you're, they're saying he's a bully. And they're, they're making up lies about this dude. He said that, you know, like, my qualifications don't. And he'll, th- this one girl was saying, like, oh, like, I'm actually, I, I'm a psychologist with obesity patients. Like, I, this is what I work with. And he's like, okay, cool. Like, that's awesome. He's like, oh, I didn't know you worked, you, you, you're, you're a doctor as well. Like, that's really dope. And, like, the way she explains how he talked to her was, like, he was bullying me. He said, my qualifications are stupid, that they don't, like, it's not real. And then he posts all of the uh, interactions, and it's not like that at all. Of course. She's making all this shit up. But people wanted to believe her, didn't they? Dude, so many people believed her, and people are, like, just saying. And what he's trying to do is just try to help people that have this disease to just learn how to do it the right way, right? He's not saying, like everybody needs to diet and that's like the fitness thing like some people get mad at you for like promoting like diets Dude, people and stuff get like that. carried away with that stuff remember the 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 um the gender reveal party thing right <laughs> they wrote this one fuck on twitter wrote this random shit which wasn't true they go a hey, good job like bullying the lady for doing the gender reveal party the reason why she did it <laughs> is because uh, she couldn't give birth to a kid and every time she got pregnant it died before they could find out the gender mm-hmm. and the real story was she goes i like pretty things <laughs> That's why she did it. Yeah. Because she says, I like to do, I like parties and cakes. That was the only reason. In an actual interview, she goes, I just like to celebrate things. Yeah. And then somebody wrote this whole thing that said it was because she couldn't uh, give birth or find out what the gender of the kid was before it was born. Yeah. And then everybody, it had like 30K retweets and likes. It's like, dude, Twitter is not a place for fucking facts, people. But that's what happens. But what's crazy is that there's like really a battle of like between truth and just complete bullshit and yeah. somehow bullshit seems to win sometimes and it yeah. doesn't make any sense like with that with that for example or with this guy with the fucking doctor who because there's people that want to believe it for some reason like they don't want to there's like people that i don't know if it's like a, a a side effect of us just being like kind of spoiled in a sense that like things are I, so good I that so. we're just like we're just like looking for shit to be angry about you, you yeah. know what i mean like i really don't get it but it's like once a fact is out there, it's like, how could you dispute this? Yeah. Somebody wrote on the channel the other day, uh, 
because I had to delete and re-upload uh, one of the the podcasts because mm. I forgot to take out this clip of like this racial attack. It was from a different video. And so I took it down and I redid it and I forgot to bleep somebody's name out. And somebody wrote, they're like, David had to redo the video because he was saying a lot of it's racially insensitive stuff. <laughs> and then somebody, it got like 20 thumbs up and then somebody was like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, no, he did it because they said somebody's name and they had to bleep it out. And but 20 people thumbed it up they yeah, like right. it was true they're just on it yeah it's like yo man what the fuck is wrong with you why are you here then why are you here yeah get the fuck out of here <laughs> you know my name is david so comedy yeah like don't what are you coming here for yeah, yeah. right Suck my dude nuts. but also <laughs> like what you said like the, the, there's certain buzzwords they try to attach things to like white supremacy is one yeah. of them uh bullying is one yeah. i mean like there's these certain things that are the evil which it's like mm. that's where that's where it kind of gets religious in a weird way yeah where it's like it's you're speaking heresy now mm. and oh, it's yeah. like it's not like it's it's not we're we're at, that's how you're not in facts world anymore it's just like yeah. you are speaking the satan's tongue and it's white supremacy it's bullying it's all these fat shaming it's like that's the yeah. new heresy you know what i hate more than racist people at least racist people are rooted in ignorance right and they just haven't known any better or they didn't grow up around people who could teach them better. Right. What annoys me more is fucking white apologists. Right. Uh, like they, the worst. because they're the ultimate pat me on the fucking back. <laughs> they're the people. worst. Love white that people, shit, huh? Let me educate you why you are all evil. Like you guys are terrible human beings and you need to apologize to every Asian and black person, Mexican. It's like, no bro, you Stop don't. It. All right. Yeah. Just be like, Hey, Slavery was fucked up. I understand why shit's happening here. And yeah. I'll just educate myself on that shit. You know, I didn't know about that stuff. My bad. Yeah. That's all you got to go. But now these guys are walking around just saying shitting on their fellow brethren, white people or whatever. I don't know. What the <laughs> Race fuck. trader. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude. Race trader, dude. It's so misguided. And too, we right? go back to Bro. snitching. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dude, and there's a lot of comedy. Sorry. There's a no, lot of comedy where I would see a lot of like white dudes being like, I know I would, like do that guilty white like I don't you're hear just shit. such a pussy dude like, <laughs> yeah. what do you like what you know like every, every time I, like what? race is brought up to them they have to apologize it's like you don't have to do this just don't be a dick yeah just yeah. don't be an asshole Literally, that's all you gotta do just be cool don't be an asshole be a down ass fool bro yeah be, a, be aware of shit that can happen you know what i mean be aware of the the history and whatnot but like to be like oh you know it's like the male feminist Beta guy shit. same it's the same thing it's like, oh, I'm sorry for all men and what we've done to women. Oh, no, bro. Like, bro, you are a bitch. <laughs> you are a bitch. How do you look at yourself in the mirror, bro? Like, what's wrong with you? And, and like I said, I'm always going to say this. The reason why I'm, I get upset about it because it's not rooted in that person trying to do good. Yes, no, exactly. It's exactly. Not rooted in it, you trying to look good. And, and it's Try, obvious. It's very yeah. obvious. Mm -hmm. Trying to get a leg obvious. up on everybody else. Yeah, it's yeah. super yeah. obvious. I apologize for the for the entire race of men because we're all animals. Like, right. imagine hearing like, that, bro. Yeah. Cuck. Yeah. Cuck. It's like, and we all know you're just trying to have sex with girls yeah, and be bro. a weasel about it. Be honest. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, don't fucking act like what you're trying to say to this girl is going to be like, oh, I'm going to impress her so hard and tell her like, oh, she, because essentially what you're doing is you're, you're telling people what you think they want to hear, which is so insulting because it's like so off mm -hmm. <laughs> most people don't want to hear that shit imagine you're a girl and you see this guy comes up to you and they're talking and he's like oh i apologize on all behalf of all men you'd be like okay like you're the fucking representative of all men get the fuck out of here dude bro. i had a friend who was <laughs> telling me that um, um when he was working like a part-time job um they all had like this like group powwow and they were <laughs> talking about um like racial uh, sensitivity stuff mm. that's been happening in this country right and there was a white dude that was in the group and this motherfucker in the most useless information ever, right? <laughs> he goes, I am, what's, what's the word for, oh, a cis male. What does cis male mean? I think it just means like a straight white dude. Okay. Yeah. I think that's what it means. I think that's what it means. Cisgendered. So, I think that's what it means. Yeah. I'll have to look that up. Uh, but he, he comes through and he just, in the beginning of the, the powwow meeting, he goes, uh, I just want to say that I am a male, I, I am a cis male. So my opinion doesn't matter. Wow. If your opinion didn't matter, then you should have just shut the fuck up. Yeah. Why are you talking? Exactly. Get yeah, out of here. Exactly. Leave, why? pussy. Dude, <laughs> why did you say that? You know why? Because he's on a public forum. He's like, hey, guys, I just want to let you guys know that like, I'm a really cool guy. Yeah, and I right. want you to know how cool I am. But thank you. Yeah, exactly. And then sit down. Exactly. He just literally woke up. He goes, hey, guys, I'm woke. Woke, woke. Well, that, that's, woke, woke. That's, yeah, exa exactly. That's, that's kind of what bugs me about um, like 
if you're not like if you're transgender you're coming out and you put your pronouns out there you want people to call you her him totally oh, understand totally I understand fuck with hey but if you're nick or you're david and you've you're staying nick and david you don't have to tell me or in your, in your profile that you're a he him. I'm not confused <laughs> yeah. at all. I'm not confused. Yeah. Hey, you're just still there, but yeah, I'm gonna call you him yeah. because I'm, it's not confusing to me at all. In work meetings and in, in emails and shit, people send like, <laughs> hey, meetings at meetings at eight a.m. Like he, her, Stephen, yo. Hey motherfucker, I don't care. Yeah. When's the meeting? Exactly. Dude? I don't give a shit. Guess Fuck what? You. I'm just gonna call you Steven. Yeah, call you Steven. Steven. That's it. Yeah. Hey, if you're Steve. not coming out as trans, you don't have to tell me what your pronouns are. I'm just call you by I'm, your name. Come, uh, your name, or if you haven't changed anything, I get it. I know how it works. You're a guy or you're a girl. I've so, known you for 20 years. Yeah, we're, this, we're cool. Yeah. But that's another virtue signaling thing where it's like you want to yeah. seem cool. That's the worst, dude. Like, yeah. vir- that's the word, right? The phrase virtue signaling. Mm-hmm. That is the worst. That <sighs> is like the grossest shit ever. It's so yeah. gross. Because like you said, it's not rooted in good intentions. And not at all. It's all about me, me, me. But me, I don't me. understand how you live like that. And like, I, like if you have any integrity, how do you? Social media, baby. It, it, no, it really is. It, it really everything. is. Yeah. Be like Keanu Reeves, bro. Keanu that Reeves is so dope, bro. That so dude is cool. Why is he so giving cool? old he, people seats and shit for he, no reason? He old don't say shit. Doesn't touch girl. Like he takes pictures like this with his hands like this. Yeah. He never touches. Really? You notice? I've noticed a lot of pictures. He's with girls. And like he has his arms like this, but his they never touch. Dude, I'd be gripping guys and girls all the time, dude. <laughs> he's like, I guess he's like, I don't know if it's for legal reasons or what. Dude, was like, <laughs> somebody wrote this comment like way back when it was like, uh, it was like JK, right? And I'm I'm the tallest, longest one. So I, I have my shoulder. It was like on Tiff or Geo or one of the girls, right? Uh-huh. It was like this. And then my other arm was here. They're like, why is David grabbing like Tiff or Geo like that? And I was like, and I wrote back. I was like, well, you don't know where my hands in, hands are next to Bart's ass. Yeah. <laughs> like, ripping that fucking nug back there, dude. I got it. <laughs> that fucking nug. Yeah, that shit's Those are idiots, dude. bro. Virtual signaling is just an odd thing, man. And that's why like little moves like this that Instagram made, I fuck with it, dude. Yeah. Like, that is getting, cool. Getting rid of these fucking like things. Let's see how well you value. Unless you're going to be the loser that goes, swipe. You want to see how many likes I got? Yeah. Let me oh, show you yeah. how cool I am. Do people do that? It, oh, yeah. Fang bros all the way, baby. Fang bros. <laughs> I love those guys, Fang bros. My guys, dude. F-E-N-G bros. I love them. It makes sense, though. It, it does seem like a young man's game, though, or a young person's game. Like, it, like because when you think about middle school, high school, you are into your image. What You're insecure. You know, yeah. you got a lot of shit going on. That's true. But if you're, like, in your 30s, 40s, and you're still kind of dealing with this, it's like, you're a fucking lame ass. What the fuck is <laughs> it? What's wrong with you, dude? You're a cream star, dude. Yeah, you're a cream you're star. Cream, cream star. cream star, but that's, dude. Cream star. But that's what I'm saying now. Now I'm now I being very careful about saying like, oh, young people. I don't even think it's young people. I think it's just everybody nowadays. There's a, yeah, I think it is. That's it's what's everybody. weird. Like, I don't get it. I really think it's the fact that you can't fuck people up. Yeah. I really think that has something to do with it. I think that there's no like, like checking there's no checks and balances anymore like they oh. got rid of bullying right so you can't even bully motherfuckers anymore what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that like, about nah, bro, but like, you know what i mean like there's no there's no sense of uh confrontation <laughs> Dude, every, at all every time you write a youtube comment it should just be fucking habib at the end this is send location send location For real, bro. Then okay. every time you write a comment you have to give like a 15 mile radius of where you're at yeah yes yeah, there should be some sort of yeah, something like that. Yeah, like and you don't know guy, exactly. If right he, he finds you, you got like at least five minutes with the one UFC round. Dude, five like <laughs> sometimes you read like certain comments, right? And it's just like the people that go on there and they just have to say certain things. You're like, man, how fucking miserable are you, bro? Not the genius brain people. Nah, the like genius brain are people are great. I encourage <laughs> conversation. Nah, they're great. Like it's it's never any of the genius brain people. But like what, whether you're like if you're watching like a, a an MMA show or something like oh, that. Oh, Fight comment. Don't even get me fucking started on those guys. Goddamn, I fucking hate them. <laughs> right, like, it's crazy. Or, or like certain people on like JK. I'm like, God damn, bro. Like people are fucking cutthroat. Yeah. Like, yeah. So people are. Dirty. And they yeah. just go out there just to like talk some shit and then be like, Hey, I did it. I it's did weird, it. It's man. Everybody wants to have an opinion. And they always want to be right, even though your opinion doesn't fucking matter about shit. It doesn't shit. Yeah, right. matter. It's just so stupid. Yeah. It's so weird, bro. Hey, man, be peaceful out there, guys. I love you very much. But that wraps up this episode of the Genius Brain Podcast. Best fans ever. Best fans ever, For man. Real. You guys have just kept me alive. I haven't sucked dick in two years because you guys, man. <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. Your boy's about to get rid of his teeth and just go gum time, dude. <laughs> gum yeah. time. You know what they call me on the streets, right? They call me Juicy Fruit, baby. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sweet team juice. <laughs> hey, tag team, we man. Gotta figure out your name soon. Uh, it'll, boy. it'll happen. It'll happen. Let it happen naturally. <laughs> baby. Don't, don't force Let it. it. Yeah, we ain't gonna force it. it. We don't just got mine it. after like a year of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Juicy yeah. fruit. Yeah, juicy, juicy fruit, baby. Sweet tea. Hey, juicy fruit. Where's sweet tea? <laughs> oh, I'm right here, sugar. <laughs> Oh, you know, he just mixing me up in the back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Time for the gum time, baby. Oh, what you doing? I'm just brewing over here. What you doing? <laughs> Hell yeah. Got him. Uh, you can find Nick Dunn at Nick the Ear. Yeah. Hey, what's your website called? NickTheEar.com. NickTheEar.com. More content, blogs, videos, everything is going to be posted. If on you there. guys are uh, getting ready for that summer bod, it's coming up. Make sure that you hit Nick the ear up. If you don't live around the area, guess what? He does online fucking programming. Ooh. And also check out my calorie calculator on my website at nicktheear.com to Ooh. find out how many calories you need to bulk or lose weight. <laughs> yep. There it goes, dude. There it is. There and it then is. you can find patrick.t.riley at Instagram and yeah, also yeah. in your fucking dreams. Ooh. 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 Also in the bed with your wife. <laughs> All the girls out there watching, slide into my man's DMs. Wow, dude. Wow. <laughs> this this, look at this guy. <laughs> guy. I'm going to get this man in trouble. <laughs> yeah, you're probably already getting DMs by so many girls. Uh, <laughs> we should probably tell the story before we end about this guy almost blowing your shit. Yeah, bro. Okay. <laughs> bro, so, I, meant, I meant it very much. No, no, no. Like, you're, um, you're the I worst was, friend bro, ever. I wasn't trying to be. A, I just was thinking, I was like, I, it's probably true. Because, bro, people, ladies love fucking Pat. He's just doing it. He just keeps doing it. Right? <laughs> it's true, bro. It's he's true. Doing it. Girls bro. like Patrick. They get googly eyes when they talk to him. I swear to God. Everybody knows this. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it, guys. Well, guys, that's that's it. It. that wraps up this episode of the Genius Brain Podcast. Pat is now gay. I'm gay, guys. <laughs> Bang. He, he, her. We, <laughs> he, he, Me. her. And we love it either way. Whatever your pronouns are, just let us know, and I'll call you whatever the fuck you want to be called, man. Yeah, yeah dog. But Ain't if you're kinda... staying, Steven, just we got it. We got it, man. <laughs> I've known you. you for 20 years, Steven. Yeah, you we don't got have you, to... Steven. Hey, Pat, I know we grew up together, but I just want to let you know, I'm a he. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for letting me know, man. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> See you all next time. Peace. <laughs>